Hey everyone, welcome back, Round Geek here. So disabling the memory integrity and making changes in the network adapter are few of the best optimization that most pro users to do to improve the gaming performance, reduce the input delay and boost the FPS while gaming. So make sure that you check the entire steps and these tweak are for all kind of PC and laptop either you have low end device or high end devices. Now before starting to be safe side I would recommend you to create a restore point which is very easy to create. Click on your windows search type restore click on create a restore point. Click on create here and type your desired restore point name so that you can easily identify and then you will have to click on create and very quickly a restore point will be created and in future if anything goes wrong you can easily revert it back. Alright so now let's move with the optimization. Make a right click on the windows icon click on settings. From the left hand menu option you will have to click on privacy and security. Click on windows security. Click on device security. Here you will find the core isolation option. Click on core isolation detail. And here you need to disable the memory integrity option. However this option is not recommended if you are more concerned about the security. But yes disabling the memory integrity will surely improving the FPS and the gaming performance. Next in the settings only from the left hand menu option you will have to click on accessibility. Then you have to look for the visual effects and here you will find two different options transparency effect and the animation effect. Now the transparency effect it's not recommended if you're really concerned about the performance as it gives you the effect when you click on the windows uh, start menu or even if you bring up any kind of other application and if you're really not concerned go ahead and disable this. Even you can disable the animation effect if you are not too much concerned about the animation. Then from the left hand menu option again click on system. Then you have to look for the notifications. Click on it. And in the notification make sure this notification has been disabled. Even do not disturb has been disabled. As it will be avoiding any kind of annoying notifications. And even it may create some kind of problem while doing any kind of specific gaming or applications. So go ahead and disable both these options. Again go back. Scroll down a bit and you will find the power option click on power and here you will find the power mode option on the right of it you will find three different option now most probably it should be selected to balanced or best power efficiency but if you need the good performance the high performance then you have to select here best performance once done again you can go back come down to the storage option and it will list you all kind of program all kind of categories that is occupying the space in your drive now you have to assure that you delete all kind of unwanted things from here whether it's a temporary file or any other kind of categories that is occupying the maximum space and you're not using it. Now first you can start with a temporary file. You can click on it and it will list you all kind of categories that is occupying the temporary file. It will also include the recycle bin, the temporary file. Download is optional if you don't want to clear the download section then you can uncheck it. Rest, Windows Update, Cleanup, Microsoft Defender Antivirus, Thumbnail. You can check all of them and then from the top you have to click on the remove file. Click continue and all these files, all these junk will be deleted from your device. Once done you can go back and check the other categories here. Whichever you don't use go ahead and just remove them. Next from the left hand menu option only you will have to click on privacy and security. And here in the windows permission you will find many categories. Click on the general one. And disable all these permission over here you really don't need it. Now you can go back. Come down to speech. Go ahead and disable it. Do the same with the inking and typing personalization diagnostic and feedback. And then you can come down to the app permission. Now there are many application that is occupying your permissions running in the background. And if you really don't need them you don't use it go ahead and disable them. Like location if you don't use the location no need to keep this enabled. Go ahead and disable it and so on you have to do with other application if you don't use the camera, mic, contacts go ahead and disable them one by one. You can even scroll down and you will find many other applications like radios. No need to keep them enabled. Go ahead and disable them. Next from the left hand menu option only you will have to click on system again then click on display. Scroll down to the advanced display here and make sure you choose the high refresh rate from here. And you can see on my end it's been selected to 60 hertz. So I can go and try and start with 119 or 120. If it works for me best, I can keep it to as it is. 
I can also go ahead and try the maximum hertz available here. Now keep in mind, this setting might not work for everyone. So in case after increasing the refresh rate, if you have any problem, you can come back to the same setting and reduce the refresh rate over here. Once you have changed the settings, you have to go back. Again, come down to the display settings here and click on graphics. Now in the graphics on the top, you might find two different options by the name hardware GPU scheduling. If you find that option, you have to make sure that you enable that option. Even if you find windowed optimization option, then you also need to enable it. That will be helping you into getting the better frame rate and even for the better optimization. Next below, you will find a very useful option here. So whichever game you enjoy on your Windows 10 or 11, you have to add that game here in the graphics and you have to give the high performance category. All right. So in case if your game is not listed here, then what you can do, click on browse. Now it will ask you the location of your game. And in order to find the game location, you can click on your Windows search. Type your game name. Let's see if I play the Valorant. I will search for it. I will right click on it. Choose open file location. Again, I will right click on it and choose open file location. And then finally, I will be getting the game path here. So from the top address box, I can make a right click on it and choose copy. Close it. Come back to this option. Paste the path at the top. And hit the enter key. Now it will take me to the game path here. I will select the game icon here. Click on add. And the game will be added over here. So you need to click on it now. Click on options. And make sure that you select this to high performance. Click on save. Do the same with the other game that you have on your windows and you want to increase the performance for that particular game. All right, now you can close the settings here. Next, click on your windows search, type sysdm.cpl and hit the enter key. This will bring up the system properties. Now here from the top menu option, you will have to click on advanced. Under the performance, you will have to click on settings. And this might be selected to let windows choose what best for my computer. Now you can see that there are many animations that are being enabled that we really don't need and it can affect the frame rate. So you need to choose the third option adjust for best performance and enable few of them that are really required. Like animate windows when minimizing and maximizing animation in the taskbar, show thumbnail instead of icon and smooth edges of a screen font. Once done, click on apply, click on OK and click on OK. Next, click on your Windows search, type mouse. Click on mouse settings, scroll down a bit under the related setting, click on additional mouse settings. Another box will be up here from the top option. You will have to click on pointers option and make sure this enhanced pointer precision has been disabled. And you also need to make sure that if you are using a wireless mouse, then you have properly connected and configured the dongle and your mouse is very close to the dongle. If your mouse is far from your dongle, then you might have the input delay and many other problem. Additionally, if you're also using the mouse software, then you can change the DPI, try to increase it and make sure that you do not exceed more than 2000 or you will have some kind of problem. So here you have to do your own research, try to increase it and see what gives you the best performance. Next, click on your Windows search, type power cfg.cpl and hit the enter key. And here also you have to assure that your power plan is being selected to the high performance. So if you see the high performance here, select it. If you don't find, you can also click on show additional plan and here somewhere you will find the high performance. Select it. Then from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on choose what the power button do. And here you'll find an option turn on fast startup. Now in most of your devices, I believe this option will be enabled. Now basically what happened, this feature allow you to start your PC faster after the shutdown. And so your computer shut down and restart very quickly. But once you see in the task manager, you will find that uptime is very high and due to that, you may have multiple problem. So it's always recommended that you should go ahead and disable this option. And in order to disable it, click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And now this option will be highlighted. You can go ahead and uncheck this option. Click on save changes and you are all done. Close it. Next, we also need to make some changes with the network adapter so that you should have the proper internet connection without any kind of interruption. So click on your Windows search, type a simple command ncpa.cpl and hit the enter key. This will display all kind of your network adapter. So whichever adapter you're using, like I'm using the ethernet, so I will right click on it, click on properties, 
select internet protocol version 4 tcp ip version 4 make a double click on it and this will bring up this kind of box now by default it automatically use their dns server address which might be not too fast to respond properly i would recommend you to use a custom dns address that should be from google or cloudflare now depending on your location depending on your internet connection uh, there can be multiple choices like few of you will find the google as the best dns and many of you will find that the cloud fair will give you the better result. In order to find out, click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. The black window will be up. Here you have to type ping. And first we can ping the Google DNS address so that we can find out that what kind of response we are getting, what kind of ping we are getting. So for Google, I have to type ping 8.8.8.8 and hit the enter key and very soon it will give you the result i'm getting the minimum of 18 ms maximum 19 average is 18 okay so we can also go ahead and ping the cloudflare and see which is giving us the minimum ping so for cloudflare i will type ping 1.1.1 and hit the enter key and you can find here cloudflare is giving us the better result the average ping we are getting from the cloudflare is 16 and google is giving us 18 so on my end, I'm getting the better result from the Cloudflare, minimum ping from the Cloudflare. So I will go ahead and use the Cloudflare DNS address. But if you find the Google giving you the minimum ping, then you can use the Google. I will share both the IP in the description. You can use them. So select the second option here. And for the Cloudflare, you have to type 1, 1, 1 and 1. And in the alternate, you have to type 1, 0, 0 and 1. Click on OK and click on OK again. Again, right click on your adapter, click on properties, click on configure and here from the top menu option, you will have to click on power management and make sure this allow the computer to turn off and allow this device to wake up. Both the options are being unchecked. So uncheck it. Then from the top menu option only click on advanced. Now here we have to make some kind of changes like ARP offload. You have to disable it. Flow control. You have to disable it. Interrupt moderation you have to disable. Last send offload IP version 4 and 6 both will be disabled. Priority and VLAN make sure it's been selected to priority and VLAN enable. Receive buffer. Now this will depend depending on your network adapter. So what you can do here in the receive buffer just type here 1024. Click on OK. And you will be getting an error here that the valid range is from 32 to 512. So whatever the maximum number is here, that's what you have to enter here. So on my end, it's 512. So I will click on OK and type here 512. Do the same with the transmit buffer. Type some random number like 1024. Click on OK. And it will give you the maximum number. Like on my end, it's 128. So I will type 128. Next, you'll find the speed and duplex. Make sure that it's being selected to auto negotiation. Or you may find some kind of network congestions. Wake on magic packet and wake on pattern match will both be disabled. WAL and shutdown will be selected to not speed down. And that's it. Click on OK. And now you can close it. All right. So we are almost done. Additionally, what else I would recommend you that make sure that your windows and your graphic drivers are being up to date. For windows, you can right click on the windows icon. Go to settings again. From the left hand menu option, click on windows update. Click on check for update. And if there are any pending update, go ahead and update it. Then you can click on advanced options, click on optional update, click on driver update. And you will find here that there are many drivers update available that may also include your graphic driver or your network adapter. So just check them all and click on download and install. If you don't find the graphic driver update here, then you can right click on the windows icon, go to device manager. Look for display adapter here, make a double click on it and it will display your graphic card over here. So right click on it, click update driver, click search automatically for drivers. And if the updates are available, it will automatically update it. Additionally, you can also use your graphic card software like AMD or Nvidia or Intel to make some kind of changes and in order to update it. All right. Now, finally, we are only remaining with the last step where we have to make sure that there is not any kind of problem with the windows or with the disk. And in order to do that, click on your windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. 
again the black window will be up and here first we have to run the dism command and all this command you will be getting in the description so make a right click paste it and hit the enter key now this will be running the dism command here once it will be done you need to run the another command that will be sfc space forward slash scan now again hit the enter key and it will be also scanning and you will have to wait until it's all been 100 percent completed and then the last command will be chk dsk space forward slash f and again hit the enter key and it will be checking for your disk and if there is any kind of problem it will let you know now on my end you can see it says would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time to the system restart so you will have to press the y key and the next time when you restart the computer you will be getting an option that checking disk so make sure that you do not skip it and let it run so that it can find and fix any problem related to your disk that can be your hard disk or ssd so that's all guys for today and hopefully if you find the information useful you hit the like subscribe if you have any kind of question you can let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video Bye bye